Uh, yeah, I, I want to make a quick video about um, uh, debugging the Ubuntu kernel with uh, GDB and uh, KVM QMU. So, yeah, if I want to see how the kernel works, uh, I want to run it in a virtual machine, in a KVM virtual machine, and, uh, and debug it from the from the from remote host or from the hypervisor. So right now I have, um, so this is my uh, uh, Ubuntu uh, KVM hypervisor. Uh, it's running uh, Ubuntu 18.04.3 uh, LTS version. So right now I have a uh, uh, Ubuntu 16.04 version running as a guest, as a KVM guest. So I, I want to like uh, uh, debug this uh, guest Ubuntu kernel. And uh, here's, here's the steps I followed through to do it. So I found the article here like debugging the Ubuntu with GDB and the QMU. So first, we needed to uh, edit the um, uh, virtual machine XML, XML uh, template and to add uh, this uh, section in the template, the guest XML template, and also add this uh, QMU command uh, argument dash s which is a, a start a QMU uh, GDB server. So yeah, so here it says, dash s tells QMU to start a GDB server on port 1234. And uh, then later we can use GDB client to collect to this uh, uh, port to debug the Ubuntu guest kernel. And uh, so that's the first setting, and we can check our setting here. I, so I already made the change, and then let's verify if the change is uh, effect. Edit. So you noticed uh, it has this uh, part, the schemas here, and. Uh, at the bottom, it here has QMU command line argument dash s, so to start a GDP server. Okay, so we can verify that. Uh, see uh, if we have a uh, port listening uh, by the QMU process listening on this uh, one two three four port. So that's the guest. This is the guest. Okay. Okay, that's the first part. The second part is uh, uh, enable serial console in the uh, Ubuntu guest. Uh, I already did this part, so uh, and uh, my guest already have the serial console, uh, so we don't need to follow. Uh, my guest already has the serial console configured, so we don't need this part. I don't want to use the name. And uh, so another second thing is we needed to um, uh, install uh, the kernel debug symbol package on the guest. So so on the guest, uh, we needed to add more uh, repos uh, like this, you know, and also add the add this key. This uh, uh, key server, Ubuntu, Ubuntu key server, and the update. So I, I did that. Uh, here's my uh, history. Oh no, that, that's the. Um, it, it's on the guest. So here is my uh, Ubuntu guest. Uh, I, this is my command history. Oh, I, I just group. Apt. So, as you noticed, I added a key server, right? 
and uh, added added those package uh, repos to the to the to this file. Yeah, this the this the file. Okay, it has these three repos added, and then I installed the. Um, uh, uh, kernel debug symbol, right? Package. So that's the command to uh, apt command to install the kernel debug uh, uh, image. And uh, so I also installed the uh, kernel uh, source code on the guest. And then later I copied this uh, this source code to the to the uh, my hypervisor, which will I will use uh, the GDB to debug from. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, see, so install the uh, debug symbol kernel image debug symbol package, and. Uh, uh, I tried to run this command uh, to get the source code, uh, but it's very slow. Uh, so instead, I, I used uh, uh, this command to install the source code on the guest first, uh, then copy this source code to the hypervisor so I can debug uh, on the hypervisor with GDB client. Okay, so. And uh, yeah, so here, uh, here is the uh, GDB command I run on the uh, KVM hypervisor to uh, um, to load the guest uh, kernel image file. So by the way, um, when you install the when you install the uh, when you install the this uh, kernel debug message uh, debug uh, package, the the pack the file is actually uh, located here. So once you install that uh, kernel debug uh, package, it, it will be uh, extracted here. I see it has boot and a lib. Uh, so the boot has this uh, the guest kernel image, and the lib uh, has the all the uh, kernel modules, uh, guest kernel modules. So this is the guest, right? Yeah. So that's uh, so you need to, you need to, uh, I needed to copy this. Um, I needed to copy this boot and the lib. Uh, uh, directory to my KVM hypervisor. Uh, KVM hypervisor. So this is my Ubuntu 18.04 KVM hypervisor, and uh, so I I copied the the boot and the lib. So I copied this uh, uh, USR lib debug um, boot and the lib to the to the KVM, KVM hypervisor under this directory. Then, so when I run the GDB uh, command, I I take the guest kernel image as argument. So this is a, a dash tui is to uh, launch a text uh, window with a source code and a GDP uh, uh, prompt. So I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so once you launch the GDP, uh, you will uh, uh, run this command to collect to the a guest GDB uh, server, so because that's that's the port uh, the GDB server listening on, and 
files. Okay, so next step is uh, to specify the kernel source code. And I also copied the, the kernel source code uh, from the guest. Uh, so it so this is a uh, under this is a guest kernel source code. I copied this source code uh, to the to the host uh, to the KVN hypervisor. Uh, same in here. So I did it a copy, and uh, I think yeah. So that that's pretty much it. Right, so okay, let's um, let's run this command. Let's start the GDB. Okay, start this GDB. Okay, now we want to target. Remote one two three four collect to the QMU GTP server. Okay, so we collect it to the so this is a, a, a kernel a guest kernel uh, trace now, and uh, we can run a, a back trace here. So it says it says also because we also want to see the source code. We can run this command in the GDB and then point this source code to the uh, current directory, uh, which is uh, um, so like here, uh, so every time when you start a GDB, uh, this will be random, right? So so I that's why I needed to co copy this directory uh, first uh, from the GDB because uh, it's pointed that that's a different that's a different random number, right? Render character string. So specify this, specify the new here, then point it to the uh, the, the source code uh, directory, the current source code directory, which is because uh, I, I started the, which is on the KVM hyperwriter host, which is this directory, and I started the GDB command from from this directory, so that's why I, I point the current directory. So right as you can see right now, we don't have source code here, but once I run this command. I wish to have source source code available. As you can see, um, that's the kernel source code uh, for uh, I believe for the frame here. So yeah, see here, same same here, and the source code here, right? So. Now uh, with this, now you can start to debug the kernel, uh, the guest kernel lively, and uh, uh, yeah, I think that. Hope I didn't uh, skip uh, skip something important. Uh, and uh, so this is another Ubuntu wiki page. Uh, same thing with uh, how to install the debug symbol packages, and. Um, Maybe later I can paste, uh, copy and paste a detail uh, command, uh, uh, and then so I don't forget later how to do this. Okay, yeah, thank you.